In this video, we'll convert from grams of silver, that's AG, to atoms. And we're going to use this graphic here to help us. So when you look at the graphic, you can see we have grams and we want to get to atoms. That's particles. Particles are molecules, atoms, or ions. But we can't go there directly. What we need to do is divide by the molar mass of AG, silver. That gets us to moles. From moles, we can multiply by Avogadro's number. And that'll get us atoms, the particles that we're talking about. So to start out with, we have 112.5 grams of silver. And this is just a number I made up. It could be any number. And we're going to divide that by the molar mass of silver. Here it's the atomic mass, since we only have one atom, 107.87. So we're going to divide that by 107.87. And the units are grams per mole. So when we divide, the grams cancel out. We end up with moles. That's what we're looking for. And we get 1.04 moles of silver. Now that we have moles, we multiply by Avogadro's number to get atoms. So we have our moles of silver from here. We multiply by Avogadro's number, which tells us we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms in one mole. So moles, they're going to cancel out. We're going to be left with atoms. We do that, we get 6.26 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of silver. And that's in 112.5 grams of silver. So just to recap, we went from grams to moles. We divided by the atomic mass here, since we just have an atom. And then we multiplied by Avogadro's number to get from moles to atoms. This is Dr. B, converting grams of silver to atoms. Thanks for watching.